The world is in an uproar about the coronavirus and how to handle it. And that uproar is affecting higher education too. I'm sure you are wondering if it will affect Clark Summit University. The answer is yes. CSU will move all current on-campus classes to online format on Monday, March 23rd. We anticipate resuming on-campus instruction on Tuesday, April 14th. Employees will work their regular schedules during this period, but the residence halls will be closed and the campus will not be open for any activities. Since you on-campus students already have an extended spring break, this adds up to a little over four weeks of unanticipated changes. Enjoy the break and then get back into classes online for three weeks. Our faculty will use this next week to move current on-campus classes online. There's an art and a science to adjusting from an on-campus format to an educationally effective online format. I'm confident our faculty is up to that challenge, and we have good help available for them so they can meet the challenge quickly. Now, based on the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and on the U.S. government, this virus is a significant problem. Closing the campus creates social distancing, and that helps. If just one of you came back from spring break with the coronavirus, our 24-7 educational, social, residential activity setting could affect our entire campus community and way beyond. We appreciate your prayers and your patience as we make this transition. We have never done anything quite like this before. We want to serve you well. We want to keep you and as many others as possible in good health. It's going to take a few days to put everything together we need to address. I'm pretty sure you have questions. Me too. I'm concerned that some of you may have no place to go except campus or you're in some other unique situation and this decision hits you hard. So yes, the campus is closed. But if you tell us what your situation is, we will work with you. If you need some of your stuff, we're working out a way for you to get it. Some of you may have a commitment to a local employer, need to be in Clark Summit. Well, the Office for Student Development will have a form that you can use to request housing in exceptional situations. We're assembling an FAQ site for you just as quickly as we can. And please be patient with us. Some of you may be wondering why we're even responding to the coronavirus situation, since you're on the lower end of the risk scale. Best I can tell you is that nothing in life is just about us. People who follow Jesus should always be on mission to help their neighbors, especially the hurting and the sick. The situation we find ourselves in today, part of that helping means slowing or limiting the spread of the disease. It takes everybody to end the pandemic. It doesn't work if only some pockets of people do it. We know nothing happens in our lives that God doesn't shape, and that's so easy to say until something like this happens. I mean, two weeks ago, if you would have shown me an advanced copy of activities, it would be canceled, Schools would go online, restrictions on travel. I would have thought you were crazy. And now, doesn't some of the responses you're hearing seem crazy? Some people are panicking, others are passive. I want CSU to be proactive. We Christians have the capacity to look beyond inconvenience and challenges to seek God's greater purpose. I want you to take advantage of that during the days we're going to be apart. You know, for instance, Paul admonishes us to do good to all people, and especially those the household of faith. This is a great time to put that into action. Online instruction will make your academic schedule more fluid than it has been. So look around your neighborhood and your church. Spot the families whose lives have been turned upside down with no warning. I mean, children may suddenly be out of school for a couple of weeks. Mom and dad both work, and now they have to figure out what to do with the kids. Given the coronavirus effect on older folks, sending them to grandma could be a big mistake. That's just an example, but you get where I'm going. God knew you would be exactly where you are at exactly this time. So love on your neighbors. I mean, avoid the hugs and handshakes. But reach out figuratively to make sure they're okay. Do good. Demonstrate what Jesus would do in a similar situation. I can't wait to hear what God does through you. Still, we're going to miss being together. CSU has always been a community that loves and cares for its own. Our community is strong. And knowing who you are, knowing the CSU family, it's going to remain that way. Even though we're apart for another few weeks, we can connect we can build each other up even if we can't sit next to one another in class or in the dorms or eat with one another in the cafeteria. It's a challenge, but we can do this. Let's pray for each other and reach out to each other. So read your email, expect remind announcements, keep up with your classes, get health information through the CDC and not social media. Do all the simple things that can keep you as healthy as possible. I'm looking forward to seeing you in person again soon. Until then, let's pray for each other and let's see what God does.